All right, good evening and welcome to this Yoga for Recovery, Realization and Resilience. My name is Brian and I'm delighted to be with you this evening. Uh, today's practice is actually going to be, it's um, the, I, I kept my days off. Today's actually the first day of December and what I usually do is the last Sunday of the month, I will share the morning practice that I've been doing for that month. So I had in my head that there were 31 days in November and this was going to be the last day of November. So we're actually going to do that. Even though it's the first of December, we're going to do the November morning practice that I've been doing for 31 days. So that's going to be our practice today. So there'll be some movement. Um, it involves some movements in the body and then activating in the core. And then we'll come and it ends with a chant. Uh, a little mantra chant. So we're going to do a little bit of mantra chanting. Um, and so as always, take what you like, leave the rest, do what's right for you, listen to the wisdom of your body, um, honor the wisdom of your body by doing what your body suggests for you to do, come out of any posture at any time, modify any posture at any time, take any alternate posture at any time. Remember that our first guiding principle is support precedes action. So make sure that you have whatever supports you need for your practice, blocks, straps, bolsters, blankets, eye shades, um, blanket, chair, whatever you need to support yourself in your practice so that you can be in that place of support as you're moving through the practice. And then as any times, as I said, at any time, if you need to modify or come out or if, you know, mantra is not your thing and you don't want to chant, just, you know, do what's right for you. Okay. All right. So let us come into a supported posture, whatever that looks like for you. Take a moment to find that supported posture. Feel into whatever part of your body's in contact with something, the floor, the chair, the seat, the wall, the cushion. Feel into rooting into those places of contact. Feel the physical sensation of that contact. For me, I'm sitting cross-legged on the floor, so back to my calves, outside of my um, calves and thighs, the sits bones, and then pointy bones at the base of the hip girdle are rooted into the cushion. I'm seated on a cushion here. I'm feeling those places of contact and I'm feeling that sensation of contact. And I'm opening my awareness to that feeling of contact as support. What is it like to be supported in this moment? And then imagining you could root into those places of support as if you could extend down into the earth below. As you root down, you lengthen. Lengthen through the side body, lengthen through the crown, lengthen through the spine, tuck the chin slightly. Feel the full length of the spine from the base to the crown. And notice for yourself what happens for you as the spine elongates and aligns. Maybe, like me, you feel the energy body engage. Maybe you feel the chest expand and the heart open. Maybe not. Maybe you just feel whatever it is that you're feeling. And then keeping the spine long, Let's come into the body by coming into the breath. Turn your awareness to your breath and find the inhale as it appears underneath your nasal passages. And then begin to breathe in and out through the nostrils, following the inhale all the way in and the exhale all the way out. Holding your awareness right there, notice how the next inhale appears just when it is needed and follow that inhaling. And that exhale out. And then let us start our practice by raising a little gratitude on your next inhale. I invite you to float your hands to your heart in a way that brings awareness to your heart space. And allow to arise in your heart space gratitude. Any one thing for which you are grateful. Maybe today for you, it's just the possibility of gratitude. And whatever arises when gratitude is called forth, Take a moment to just observe for yourself. See for yourself clearly in your mind's eye what arises when gratitude is called for. And whatever it is that you're grateful for, I invite you to anchor that right there in your heart space. Keep it there as you go through the practice today. And then finally, this evening, I'll invite you, if you choose, to set an intention for your practice. Perhaps a simple intention to just keep your gratitude anchored or to be right there at the beginning of each inhale. And whatever your intention is, I invite you to state it to yourself. Hear yourself in your mind's ear as you state your intention in a clear and declarative voice as if it is already done. 
and then listen as the echoes of your intention reverberate in your being. Holding our intention and our gratitude firmly in our center, I invite us to take a full inhale. And as you exhale, allow your chin to drop gently to your chest and offer a benediction to seal your intention as I say, namo, namaste. And then release your hands. Bring your hands to your knees and begin to just rotate your torso against that fixed hip girdle. So you're rotating, inhaling, coming forward, breathing in and out through the nostrils, exhaling as you go back. Aligning the movement with the breath, finding your rhythm, your pace, your breath, your practice. Inhaling forward, exhaling back. Just a simple movement here. Begin to move from the diaphragm, less in the shoulders. A lot of times we let the head lead and then we're moving the shoulders. It's less about that and move more about the diaphragm. See if you can feel your diaphragm rotating so that the torso is just moving. The head is just relaxed and moving with the spine, resting atop the spine. Mm. Mm. And switch directions. Still inhaling forward, exhaling back, move in the opposite direction here. Just beginning to find some movement, feeling the spine rotating. Aligning movement with breath, simple movement with breath. Begin to find maybe that ujjayi or ocean breath. Begin to tighten a little bit at the back of the throat so that you can hear the breath in the nostrils. Couple more here. Inhale to center. Gently retain this breath and then lift at the base of the spine. Engage Mula Bandha. Lift at the pelvic bowl. Lift at the heart. Engage Udiyana Bandha. Tuck the chin slightly, relax the shoulders. Engage Jala Bandha. Feel the energy centering and lifting up the spine. And then exhale, release. Be very still, hands on knees, thumb and forefinger together. Let the breath be as you inhale. And exhale. Bring the hands to the shins where we begin our seated cow cat. And so as you inhale, just rock forward on the pelvic bowl. So you feel the lower spine will, will move slightly forward. Chest will expand and open. Crown will lift. As you exhale, round the spine, release the chin, roll the hips back under, roll the pelvic bowl back under. And then just continue inhaling, rocking forward and up, exhaling, rounding. Seated cow cat. Moving with your breath, finding your rhythm, your pace, your practice. You're in the privacy of your own space by design. Just feel into what works for you. You may be moving quicker than me. Maybe you'd be moving slower than me. That's okay. It's your practice. Find your practice. Feel that lower spine arching and rounding. Feel into the lower spine, feel the lower spine movement. So the, yes, the heart lifts, the crown lifts, but the movement's at the lower spine. So we're actually rocking forward and back on the sits bone, on the pelvic bowl. So we're exactly rocking that pelvic bowl here. Now continue this movement, but take the hands and place them out on the knees. And you'll feel that perhaps you'll feel that movement, that moving the hands out to the knees opens up the middle chest 
And you may feel that movement begin to move up in the, to the middle part of the spine also. So we're arching the lower and middle part of the spine. Heart still coming forward on the inhale, rounding the spine on the exhale. Finding our rhythm, feeling into your practice, beginning to find yourself in your practice. These yoga movements, we move the spine so that we can free the inflexibility that falls into the spine and we get to feel the cerebrospinal fluid moving up and down the spinal column. Mm. Energetic force. Just stay with it, just a few more here. Inhale up. Again, engage at the base of the body, at the base of the spine, at the pelvic ball, at the heart. Relax the shoulders, tuck the chin, feel the energy lifting up the spine, lift. Very still. Thumb and forefinger together, hands on the knees. Squeeze and lift. And exhale. Let everything settle. Notice your experience. Take a full inhale. And a complete exhale. Inhale here. Exhale here. A full inhalation. A complete exhale. Take the hands out from the shoulders, palms up, and then fold the elbows and bring the hands so that the thumbs hook behind the shoulders and the four fingers land in front. So you're locking yourself in place there. Extend through the elbows. And then we're just going to twist, inhaling as we twist left, exhaling as we twist right. Again, finding your rhythm, your pace, your breath, your practice. Inhaling left, exhaling right. Ooh, I probably should have put the timer. Gentle twist, don't overdo it. Not trying to overdo anything here. Just allowing the body to open as it's ready to. Again, just finding the way, what happens in the body as we move the spine. So we did rotations and then we did flexion and inflection. And now we're doing twisting. So we move the sp spine in several different directions at this point. Just freeing up the spine. And yogis tell us that we're only as old as our spines. So we work to move the spine to keep ourselves youthful, maintain flexibility and mobility, and just be present with ourselves here. A couple more here. Inhale to center. And again, lift at the base. Engage Mula Bandha. Lift at the pelvic bowl, lift at the heart, tuck the chin. And even though you're here, you can let the shoulders relax and feel the energy moving up the spine. And exhale, release the hands down, thumb and forefinger to breath together and take a full inhale. Notice your experience and what you feel. A full inhalation here. A complete exhale. Inhale here. 
And as you exhale, come back onto your mat, come down onto your mat on your back. Mm. Okay. Now, we're gonna do stretch pose here. So full implementation of the posture is we lift the shoulders, we lift the arms, we lift the feet. About six inches to a foot. And we extend through the toes and through the crown. And we're gonna be in this posture while we do breath and fire. Now we're literally gonna be here a minute. Now, variations. If you need more support, you keep your hands down. Maybe keep one leg down. Maybe keep both legs down. Maybe keep your shoulders down. Maybe do what's right for you, okay? Now, if you're pregnant or on your menstrual cycle, please just do long, deep breathing, full inhales, deep into the belly cavity, full exhale. Otherwise, breath of fire is a bastrika type breath where you engage the diaphragm on the exhale. And then inhale comes as you release the diaphragm, that inhale will come naturally. So find your posture, support yourself as you need. You can also use a hand behind the head if you need additional support in your shoulders. Again, bring one leg down or not. Find your posture and let us begin. And here we go. Breath of fire here. Just do the best you can. Modify as you need. Support yourself. Remember, support precedes action. So you always want to be supported in all of your efforts. Just breathing in and breathing out. Take a full inhale. Retain this breath. Lift at the base. Lift at the pelvic bowl. Lift at the heart. And exhale, release the feet down, release the hands down. Palms up, release the shoulders down. Lengthen through the crown. Let the toes fall open. Palms up by your sides. Let everything settle. Be still. Allow the breath to come, full inhale. Complete exhale. Inhale here. Exhale here. A full inhalation. A complete exhale. All right, our next movement is gonna be turn the palms down alongside the hips. Press into the forearms and palms. For additional support, bring the thumbs underneath the sits bones. For even more support, bring the back of the palms underneath the SI joint at the top of the buttocks. Finding your supported posture, we're gonna to begin to piss in the legs. So inhale, one leg long, the other knee in toward the chest. And then switch with your breath. Inhaling and exhaling, pistoning the legs. And again, we're just going to be here for a minute. Find your rhythm, your pet, your breath, your pace, your practice. Support yourself as you need. Stay long through the crown. Keep the spine on the mat. Try to keep the lower spine especially on the mat. So you kind of lengthen through the crown. Keep that lower spine down there. That support. Your full, side, your full spine is on the mat supporting you in this practice. Moving with your breath.
Inhale, both legs long. Squeeze. Exhale, lower the legs, let the toes fall up and turn the palms up, lengthen through the crown. Be very still. Whew, allow everything to settle. Feel that energy in the core. So in the hip flexors, perhaps, maybe in the hamstrings. Feel where you've been activated and energized here. Allow everything to just be. The integration is equally as important as the movement, right? So we want to allow ourselves to be present with ourselves while we integrate the effort that we've done. We've got one more here on our back. Moving up into the hip flexors and the core, we're going to begin to do our leg lift. So again, turn the palms down alongside the hips. Again, Additional support, bring the thumbs underneath the sits bones or back of the palms underneath the SI joint. Find your posture of support. Now we're gonna begin leg lifts. Now you can do one leg at a time. Alternating the legs or you can do both legs. Again, we're literally gonna be here for just one minute. Inhaling up. And exhaling down, find your rhythm, your breath, your pace, your practice. Either one leg or both legs. Inhaling up, exhaling down, lower spine, full spine on the mat, forearms and palms supporting. Be in your practice. Find your rhythm. Fully engaged, fully present, movement and breath. Align the movement with the breath. A couple more here. Inhale up, squeeze, and exhale, lower the legs, let the toes fall open, turn the palms up, and again, just allow a moment to let everything settle. Notice now where the energy is, maybe you feel that in a different place, maybe not. Just notice what you feel. Breathe into your own experience. Be present. Full inhale. Complete exhale. Inhale here. Exhale here. A full inhalation. A complete exhale. Inhale, bring your knees into the chest, squeeze, bring your knees up, nose up toward your knees, and just begin to rock gently on your spine. So rocking up and down the spine, just gentle, a couple times, and then eventually rocking up to a seated posture, bring yourself back around to a seated posture. And we're going to continue our movement practice, bringing the movement and the energy up a little higher into the torso. So we're going to bring our hands to our knees. And as we inhale, we're going to lift the shoulders toward the ears. Now, tendency here sometimes is to scrunch the back of the neck. That's not what we want to do. We want to simply lift the shoulders. So the back of the neck should be relaxed. That A1 joint should be relaxed as, as best you can. And again, you're gonna find your rhythm, your pace, your breath, and your practice. Inhaling up, exhaling down. So 
focus on the breath, awareness on the breath in the nostrils. And the focus is at the brow point if the eyes are closed or at the tip of the nose or just beyond the tip of the nose if the eyes are narrow. I'm just trying to be relaxed here while we lift the shoulders up and down. Again, your rhythm might be different than mine. That's fine. You're in the, your practice and your body is adapting to your own rhythm, the rhythm of your heart, the rhythm of your breath, the rhythm of your being. Just gently moving your shoulders up and down. See if you can be kind to yourself in this movement. What does that look like? Moving kindly, smoothly, a few more. And inhale up. And again, lift, base of the spine, pelvic bowl, heart. Tuck the chin. Notice if you're like me, the chin tends to rise here. So tuck it so the back of the neck releases. Feel that energy rising up. Exhale, release. Chin to the chest. Now, if you have neck issues, just simply turn your head left to right gently, like you're saying, no tension in my neck, Brian. Otherwise, you're just gonna rotate that inhale, right ear, right shoulder, chin to the sky. Exhale, left ear, left shoulder, chin to the chest and then reverse that. So just go opposite direction each time. Just a few gentle neck rolls or head shakes, if you will. Inhale to center. Ah, exhale. Let everything settle. Be very still. Okay. Now. Inhale here. Exhale. Now, I'm going to do a mantra chant. So find your supported posture. So you may want to adjust as you need to. You may want to add um, for comfort or support. The hands are on the knees, thumb and forefinger lightly touching. Crown is long and extended. Oh, perfect. Right on time. So I'm going to do. Yeah. Mm. Spine is straight and elongated. The chin is tucked. Body is very still. Focus is on the chant or mantra as we speak. And the awareness, or excuse me, the awareness is on the mantra as we chant or speak or just sit silently with it. And the focus is at the brow point as the eyes are closed or at the tip of the nose if the eyes are focused. The, the chant is Ekongkar, Ekongkar, Sat Nam Siri, Wa He Guru. And the movement of the breath is, is upward in the spine. So it goes something like this, Ekongkar, Sat Nam Siri, Wa He Guru. And that ah, ekankara, is simply lifting the diaphragm. Ekankara, satanama, siddhi, wa, hey, guru. Ekankara, satanama, siddhi, wa, hey, guru. Ekankara, satanama, siddhi, wa, hey, guru. 
Ekonkara, Satanama, Siliwahe, Gulu. 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 
Ekkon Kala, Satanama, Siri Wahe, Guru. 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 Let the mantra go. Be very still. Allow the breath to come and go naturally. Be very silent and very still. Allow everything to settle into rest. This is your rest. Hear the echo of the mantra and the practice. Feel the echo of the mantra and the practice in your being. Settle into stillness. Notice for yourself, what has shifted for you 
in this simple practice, 30 minutes or so, and a little bit of movement, focused breath and awareness on the breath. Mantra is just a form of focusing on the breath with sound, silence, and stillness. Notice how these simple practices can have a profound shift in our relationship to the present moment, our relationship to ourselves, our relationship to everything around us. Allow stillness. Just rest here in stillness. So we experience silence for the next couple minutes. Take a moment here to reconnect with your breath. Bring your awareness to your breath. Find the inhale and the exhale. Hold your awareness right there as you inhale and exhale. And on your next inhale, I'll invite you once again to float your hands to your heart in a way that brings awareness to your heart space. And then again, allow to arise perhaps one more thing for which you are grateful. And again, maybe just the possibility of gratitude. And take a moment to just witness yourself resting in gratitude in your space. And as you rest in gratitude in your space, I'll take this opportunity to extend my sense of gratitude to you from this space. Thank you so much for coming and sharing your practice. I'm honored to be here, truly. And as always, I invite and encourage you to stay here in grateful rest for as long as you like. And when you do rise, please take your gratitude and the echoes of your practice with you as you go through the remainder of your day lifting yourself and all that you come into contact with. Have an amazing day.